Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox, and this is part eight of What's the Truth About Heaven and Hell? Some thoughts based on the book by my good friend Douglas Jacobi. We're here today in Carpenter's Park uh, Garden Centre, where it's time for a coffee break, and time to think about the topic of universalism. And I'd really like to know what you think about this idea. This is the view that in the end, all people will be saved, whether they choose God or Jesus in this life or not. Such a view is based upon the idea, uh, or passages such as 2 Peter 3, 9 and 1 Timothy 2, 4, talking about the fact that God does not want anyone to perish and he wants all men to be saved and so therefore put that together with the very nature of God that he is love, 1 John 4. And put that together and well surely he can't bear to see anybody lost and therefore uh, in the next life perhaps there will be punishment, perhaps there will be refining by some kind of uh, metaphorical fire, but nonetheless all people will be saved. Now that can, can that be right? It Does that fit with the rest of scripture? Well there's not much scriptural backing for this view, uh, other than the sort of philosophy of uh, uh, what we've already discussed. But there aren't many other passages that seem to indicate that, well, once God, once people have made a decision in this life and then they have died, then that decision is honoured by God uh, rather than the other way around. And some will say, well, God is very persuasive and uh, surely there should be a chance in the next life and God will take as long as, as it takes. For people to decide to follow him. Uh, he will be persuasive in the next life, he tried to be in this life, uh, but ultimately he is able to persuade all people to love him. But that does sound a little bit to me like, I don't know, I don't know which movie it was, but the idea of uh, I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Uh, isn't that ultimately in the end a, set, a type of coercion? It, does that fit with the love of God and does that fit with what we understand about free will? That Without free will, there's, there's no opportunity to really offer love genuinely to anybody, let alone God. What do you think about this? Uh, please drop a note. Let me know what you think. I shall finish my coffee, and I hope you will enjoy thinking about all these topics. Take care, and God bless.